Welcome to One True Champion. Chris and Keith alongside Big 12 insider Wendell Barnhouse. Week 5 was a test week for Big 12 football. Kansas State's resiliency was tested as they bounced back from a loss to defeat UTEP, while Baylor came out with a W in their first real challenge of the season. But our lead story comes from Lawrence, Kansas, where the Jayhawks have fired head coach Charlie Weiss. Well, Kristen, after two seasons and four games under Weiss, Kansas just wasn't showing any improvement. In two games against Power 5 schools, Texas and Duke, the Jayhawks managed just three points. And in this day and age, losing can be a bit more tolerable if you're at least entertaining and scoring points. Bottom line for the Weiss era, no progress, an ineffective offense, and not enough wins. With Weiss out and defensive coordinator Clint Bowen in as interim coach, how soon do you think Kansas will name a new head coach, and who might it be? Well, you know, after two coaches in, the, in just five seasons, they really need to get this higher right now. I think that well, they're going to conduct a typical national search, but I think they'll look for a top offensive assistant because in the Big 12, you have to move the football and score points. Now, I could throw out some names, but I'd be guessing just like everybody else. But I don't expect a coach to be named until the season's over. The Big 12 now has five teams in the AP Top 25. What are the chances of this league having a team in that Final Four playoff, Wendell? Well, things are looking really good now, and the fact is, you know, that the coaches' poll and the media poll, they're really irrelevant. But when you've got half your teams ranked, you tend to brag about it. Now, the bad news about getting five teams ranked is that means the Big 12 has really good depth, and that means it's going to be tougher for the top two teams, Oklahoma and Baylor, to make it through without a loss. I know you were in Stillwater for the shootout between Texas Tech and Oklahoma State, but overall, who impressed you the most in Week 5? Well, getting to see the Cowboys up close and personal, I was really impressed that they found a quarterback in Dax Garman. He's the mad bomber. Check out our stat of the week. He has completed 49 passes. Almost half of those, 24, have been for 15 or more yards. Now, Oklahoma State's in great position to be 5-1 and one before playing at TCU on October 18th. Also Saturday, TCU and Kansas State closed out non-conference play with impressive victories, and Baylor's offense is getting healthy, and the Bears had no problems winning their Big 12 opener at Iowa State. Do you expect to see more separation in the league this week? Well, it's a big Saturday around college football, and it's a full slate of five games in the Big 12. The biggest game will be in Fort Worth Saturday afternoon. Oklahoma was off last week and takes, a number 20, takes on number 25 TCU. Now, these teams have a history of playing close games, and this will be the second consecutive challenging road game for the Sooners. Also Saturday afternoon, Baylor will play at Texas. It's going to be interesting to see if the Longhorns' defense will be good enough to try to slow down that Bears' offense. Before we leave you, we both pulled some of our favorite moments from the weekend. In this video, Bryce Petty, who might I remind you weighs 230 pounds, hurdles an Iowa State defender for this 16-yard touchdown. Pretty nice hurdle from a quarterback with that kind of size. He's obviously been practicing. And here's a look at our favorite touchdown celebration of the weekend. Well, Kristen, we've heard of play fakes and pump fakes. Well, this was a celebration fake. After throwing a touchdown pass, TCU quarterback Trayvon Boykin and backup Zach Allen kind of went old school after faking the typical leaping body bump. They just went with a handshake. It's a much safer way to celebrate, guys. That's a wrap for today, but we'll see you next week for another edition of One True Champion.